Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Ben Esner. I'm the director of the Center for K-12 STEM Education, and I want to welcome you to the 2023 Arise selection process and say congratulations. You are one of only a quarter, 25% of all applicants who have been invited to continue in, uh, in this process. So uh, we offer our congratulations and um, encourage you to feel good about like that part of um, that part of this process that you've um, already completed. It shows a lot of resilience and grit uh, to get to this point. Um, Want to give you uh, a couple of like tips about how to proceed in the process um, and uh, a little bit about what will happen next. So quickly, uh, tips. Um, first is um, please always read what we send you and respond. We always are, we're very careful about our communications to you and uh, the things that we ask you to do and the ways um, that we need you to respond and in the timeframes that we need uh, you to respond are really important to the process. And so please keep that in mind that getting into a rise is a process and we need everybody to collaborate in making that happen. Um, so please read what we send you always and respond as we ask action. Okay. Second, um, prepare. So you've been invited to the lab doors. Super exciting. Group interview. Super exciting. Um, in your lab tours, you're going to see uh, lots of different kinds of labs that um, uh, we encourage you to really keep an open mind, mind about. Um, it may not be exactly what you thought you were interested in, but listen closely and prepare. So the one thing that we really recommend everybody does throughout this process is really prepare. So for the lab tours, make sure you click on those links that we've provided you in your schedule. Click on those links, read up on those labs, get some questions together. We are keeping track. So when you come to the lab tour and show up at the lab tour, like we're you know assessing you and the other people in the in in your group in a way that. Um, you know, uh, helps us see that you are engaged with the material, right? It doesn't mean you'll get in, but it, it means that we, we know you're engaged with the material. So that's a tip, right? Be engaged with the material. And even if you think a lab is somewhat outside of your interest, be open-minded. The part of the reason we ask you to um, attend these lab tours that might transcend some of the things you told us you were interested in is precisely because the interdisciplinary nature of STEM uh, and STEM research right now is uh, is deep, and we want you to understand that. You might find new interests. So prepare for the lab tours. Second, prepare for the group interview. We've already read your essay, so don't tell us again. And during the group interview, don't tell us what you've already written in your essay. Give us some new information, some new insight, something that's happened to you recently, maybe that. Uh, you know, made you more excited about Arise or STEM research or STEM uh, career or, or anything else that we haven't already gotten, you know, from your uh, application. If you move on in the process, uh, you also have to prepare for the one-on-one -on -one interviews. And that really means going in depth uh, to the labs, uh, and the research that those labs do that you have been paired with um, during the selection process for the one-on-one -on -one interviews. Again, questions, being knowledgeable, um, having done a little background work before you show up for your interview is really gonna help you in that process. So preparation, preparation for uh, your lab tours, preparation for your group interview and preparation for your one-on-one -on -one interviews. So that's another big piece of advice that we have for everybody. Um, the, third, the third piece of advice that we really, ha really have for everybody is um, when we say mandatory, we mean it. Like mandatory means you have to do this. Um, and particularly during the selection process, we have very little flexibility. Like in fact, none. Right? We have very little flexibility in how we schedule and when your uh, interviews are and things of that nature. So please keep that in mind. Mandatory is mandatory. And in particular, you cannot duck in and out of your lab interview, your lab tours. Right, We are keeping track, so please keep that in mind. 
when we put you in a group that's going to see 12 or 16 labs, uh, you know, on Monday, that uh, you have to show up for every single one. Again, because part of the idea here is we want you to get exposed to as much as possible in this process, even if you don't end up getting into a rise. Okay, so those are some of the things we wanna say. We also want you to know that like during the program, you know, when we say things like two unexcused absences, that means like you cannot just not show up, right? You have to tell us like what is going on. But in excused absence, we understand, right? Things happen in your family, happen in your life that may interfere with the commitment that we are asking you to make. And that's the other thing I would emphasize is that as you go through the form that, you know, you know that this video is part of, um, as you go through the form, you know, think carefully. We're not asking you to predict the future. We're asking you about your commitment, like your, your, uh, your deep sense of like, this is something you want to do. So please keep that in mind, because again, we had almost a thousand students apply and only about 250 are getting the opportunity even to come this far. So think carefully about the commitment, but don't obsess about like something you might not know about that's going to happen in the future that breaks your commitment, okay? Um, I, hope, I, hope, I, I hope everyone understands that. Okay, next, last. And what happens next? So you're going to go on these lab tours. It's going to be awesome. Trust me, trust us. You're going to find out amazing things about research that you never knew existed in STEM and engineering and technology and science. It's going to be amazing. Uh, the lab tours are super fun. Uh, and uh, after the lab tours, everybody has a group interview. Again, those are mandatory. Uh, and uh, during that group interview that's going to happen on Tuesday or Wednesday, you're, you're, you know, you're going to get a chance to interact with each other a little bit and like tell us and our, our colleagues and staff, you know, more about your interest in this program and more about your motivation and, um, you know, why you want to do this summer. After that, um, there'll be a group that uh, is selected to uh, proceed to the one-on-one -on -one interviews. During that, you'll uh, interview with three or four labs. And um, at the end of that process, uh, the labs select their most preferred students and the students uh, select their most preferred labs. And we work off a uh, you know, highest and best match process from there. So keep that in mind also, as uh, if you do move on to the one-on-one -on -one stage, Please keep that in mind, um, you know, that we're looking, uh, we, you, and the labs, right, this is a really collaborative effort, are all looking for the highest and best match. Science you're interested in, people you like, the, you know, the students and graduate students, PhDs, mentors, faculty, um, you know, uh, are excited about having you in the lab. So that's a, that's a part of it, right? And, but again, back to preparation, that's how you're going to get through that one-on-one -on -one process is through preparation and understanding, um, you know, what the lab is doing and how you can fit in best. And we know that the labs are going to be making the same assessment. Who, you know, who can fit in best here? Who's, whose interests and personality are really, you know, excellent for our lab. So to recap... <laughs> And finish. Um, I would just say, you know, come prepared at every stage of this. Please read everything we send you. We really mean it. This is gonna. Um, this process works. It really has great outcomes. And whether you get in or not, again, like even getting to this stage of this process is a huge achievement. Uh, and you know. You should definitely take pride in that. So read everything we send you, prepare well, uh, and uh, we're going to look forward to seeing you uh, on lab tours on Monday. And we're going to look forward to seeing you in the group interviews on Tuesday or Wednesday and uh, getting to know you a little better. And, um, you know, we wish you really the best in this process. Thanks.